Hello and welcome back to Design Direction with me, Joseph Berry. And today I'm going to be sharing with you Daily Direction. It's a nine part tutorial which will include a range of micro interactions all built inside of Webflow. We're going to be looking at this really nice rollover button as well as this pulsing play button. We have a share field interaction with this cool logo animation as well as tooltip. This really funky little close button. This toggle. We're going to be looking at this burger menu as well, as well as this really nice share button. And to finish it off, we're also going to be looking at this really nice text animation. So, getting into the first one, which is the button, we're going to dive straight into Webflow and we're going to start to build this out. So with our first div, what we will do is we will drop a link block. We will call this btn parent one. We will set the display to flex. We will put it to 170 pixels in width, 45 on height. On the flex, we've just made sure that this was center center the position to relative, set the overflow to hidden, then we're going to style the font, which is Helvetica, 14 is fine, we're going to get rid of the text decoration, we're also going to put a 2 pixel border on it, we're going to put some border radius, and then we have our button shape. Then we're going to grab some text. I'm just going to drop this text in here. We're going to call this button. Uh, one thing that I did forget to do was just to make sure we select a font color. Now we're going to select this text block. We're going to call this text. And then we're going to set the position of this to absolute and then we have our first button text. All we're going to do is we're just going to Apple C and Apple V to copy. Let's just check that to make sure we both both layers are inside now which is great. Now we need to get on to the interaction. We're going to click that parent. We're going to go to a hover. We're going to start the animation. Now as you can see I already have all of them interactions on the other page but we're going to start fresh. So I'm going to go 0, 1, button, hover. Then what we're going to do is we're going to select one of the texts. We're going to do a move. We're going to make sure that it's on the selected element. We also want to set this to the initial position. And then what we're going to do is we're going to move it down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's 50 pixels. And then we're going to move it to 0. Then we're going to go into our layer panel, we're going to select the other text, we're going to go a move again, we're going to make sure that it is a selected element, we're going to go zero pixels, and then we're going to move up to three, four, five, fifty pixels. So now we have that interaction. What we're going to do now is actually select the parent button, and we're going to do a BG color. And we're going to start off with transparent. And then we are going to do a BG color again and change to black. Now what we're going to do is we're going to select the text that is coming down. So the one that's coming in, which is that one there. We're going to do a text color. Now you potentially could just already change this text to white. Um, but I quite like the way that the motion of the changing of color from um, black to white works quite well so we're just going to set this to black and then we're going to go a text color again and we're just going to do this to white now what we're going to do is we're going to select all of these we're going to bring the timing down to 0.3 and we're going to put an ease and let's just check how that looks lovely great and then what we're going to do is we're just going to go down to the rollout we're going to start we're going to duplicate this we're going to select this one, we're going to go 
change it to hover out and then all we're going to do is we're just going to delete all of these we're going to select all of these we're going to take them off the initial state and then we're going to change the timing and the ease and we should have it there you go and that's how you build out that button interaction hope you enjoyed this tutorial don't forget to like and hit that subscribe button and I'll look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial.